welcome to my youtube channel please before you continue to watch this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button by subscribing to my channel for more it related video so i want to show you how to install the install java using group policy and i'm also going to show you how to extract the msi file from your exe file of java so i have the java runtime environment here this is the um version 8 um 8 version 271 so let me go to the properties of this file here you can see there is an exe file so how do we extract the msi from this file so what you just need to do is to double click the file and do as and just do as soft as if you want to install the file so just click yes so by clicking yes an msf file is going to be generated so what what i need to do is uh let me just go to my c drive local c drive and go to my users account kelvin and here um you can see i'm not seeing my um hidden files so i want to go to view and show hidden click on hidden items and here I'm, I'm now going to click on app data local and here you can see a file has been created called oracle click on it java and we have another file called the java runtime environment 1.80 just click on that and you can see this is a windows installer package so if i right click on this file click on the properties you can see we have an msi file so here you can see it's asking us if we want to install java just click cancel yes and you can see we have our msi file so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this file let me just copy this file to my um let me just copy this file to my download here as well so right now i have i've installed a software on my device called orca so i want to modify this software that the um java should not be updated on the device on self so we should be able to control the update as well using group policy so i'm going to actually right click on orca and then run as administrator mind you orca is a software which you can actually use to modify msr files if you want to like modify the um like uh, disable the auto uh, auto update or change some of the registry information from the msi file so i'm going to click file open so i'm going to go to my let me just go to my libraries and go to my um let me just go to my download here and here you can see we have the msi file click open so i'm actually interested in the properties and here we have the auto updates so i'm going to change this value from one to zero so and also the java update i'm also going to change this value from one to zero so and then i'm going to save it save and here the value has been saved so i if you can as well just use save as we can save it to the same location click save i'm going to replace it so I just click so let me close this orca application my file has been saved and i go back to my where my file is located you can see we have our msi file located here so right now i'm going to copy this file so i have a server here domain controller which i'm going to use to deploy my software using group policy so i'm going to copy this file to a location let me just see if i have to my shared file i have a folder called software here so let me create a new folder here and call it java so and then just paste it there so let me go to my domain controller here so here i have uh, let me go to active directory you can see i have some computers which is called um on my uh, called laptops i'm actually using a virtual machine so i have the c001 which is this device here so i'm going to actually create a new gpo and link it to this laptop so let me just go to my laptops here i've already opened my group policy management well the group policy management can actually be open from your server manager and you go to tools and here we have the group policy management so i'm going to create a new gpo here and link it to this organization unit i'm going to call it um install let me just call it java 
so I'm going to right click on this GPO and click edit it's actually going to be a computer configuration policy so what I need to do is let me just make this a little bit larger click on policy so I'm going to use the software installation so right click and click new package so what I'm going to do is here you see it's taking me directly to where this software folder is I'm going to select the Java and let me just select this click open so I'm going to actually assign this software so by assigning the software automatically the software will be installed on the user's device so click OK so the software has been loaded here you can see the software has been uploaded so what you actually need to do let me just cancel this what if you are working actually in the um enterprise environment and you can actually modify some of the settings because i'm using a virtual machine so the my computer connects to my domain controller automatically so you can actually modify some settings like for example let me go to under that so that my administrative templates let me go to windows components no, i think i should be in uh, that should be in systems on our systems or uh, let me just go to on our log on here we're going to say um always wait for the network at computer startup and log on so we're going to say okay so with this policy uh, the policy we need to wait for the computer to actually log on to the network before the um, policy is being applied and also we also need to go to the group policy let me just look for the group policy and here we will actually delay uh let me see specify startup policy processing waiting time i think we're going to actually put this to like 120 seconds which is about two minutes so he said this policy setting specify how long group policy should wait for network availability notification during startup policy so just click apply and click ok and click close so what i also need to do um here again is because you can see if i go to scope here we see security filtering is authenticated user so let me just add my domain computers here so my domain computer has been added as well so mind you this policy is going to only apply to all the devices which are in this organization unit called laptops so let me go back to my c001 let me close this and start the command prompt and let me just do a gp update and first So I'm going to update the policy by forcing all the policy that have, that has been applied from my domain controller. So it says that there's a software which needs to be installed. So it's going to ask me if I want to actually restart my device. So I'm going to say yes, I want to restart my device by entering Y and click enter. So you see my device is going to start in less than a minute. So right now my device is being started. So I will actually just pause this video and come back again when the device has been restarted so let me log on to my device so I've logged on to my device right now so the policy is being applied so let me just go to my task manager and see if I have any MSI file that is trying to be installed on this device so here you can see that a window installer file is trying to install on this device so let me just close this so you can see that the window installer file is trying to install on this device so it may take some time because java is actually um the software i think it's a little bit like something megabytes so it may take some time for this software to be installed so in the meantime, let me just show you, uh, let me go to my um, control panel, my programs on file and see if the software is has been installed or not. Let me see. Here you can see that the Java um, actually has been installed, but the process probably the installation is still taking place. And you can see um, today is the 26th of 10, which is the today's date right now. And that's the version which I deployed so that's how you that's how you install the um you install java using group policy and also if you want to extract the msi file 
also that's how you actually install it using group policy so if I as well, let me just close this as well. So if I go to my start menu here, you can see that Java has been installed. And if I go to click on configure Java, let me just click on configure Java here. And you can see we have the about Java, you can see the version of Java, but I don't have the option to actually update Java here. If I go to start menu as well and click check for update, you can see it's going to take me to my java control panel because i've actually disabled the java update so that's why i'm not seeing that option right here right now so i use the orca software to actually disable the update of java my name is kelvin johnson please if this video has been of any help to you please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel you can also share my video leave a comment and i will reply to you as quick as possible also subscribe to my youtube channel for more it related video thank you very much and see you next time bye